This is Dave, a brutally honest gamer, and uh, today I wanted to share with you another uh, tip as far as collecting goes uh, that works pretty good for me. Well, I have a small game room, and space is pretty limited, and these little drawer thing, plastic Tupperware drawers, uh, come in pretty handy. Uh, what I'm going to show you, I bought three of them at Goodwill for like two bucks a piece, couldn't beat it. But at a store, I think they're anywhere between between ten and twenty dollars. Uh, they're not the cheapest, but they work really well for uh, for gaming. So let me show you what I got, and then uh, you can see if it's something that'll work for you. And uh, with one kind of a, I don't want to say big drawback, but you'll be able to see once I show you. I'll save that for the end. See if you catch it. Okay, so with space being at a premium, I needed something to store a lot of stuff. So these little white Tupperware shelves, I have three over here and two over there. Uh, they came in really handy and they're pretty inexpensive, especially if you could find them uh, when you're out Goodwill and, and stuff like that looking for, for gaming stuff. Uh, they're pretty sturdy. Let me zoom in. Kind of hard plastic. Um, I mean, they're sturdy enough to hold, I mean, there's a Vader 2600 in there, and the Vectrex sits on top of that one without any problem. Um, so they're a able to be used as a shelf, too. Uh, but what I got in these, so first drawer is just a bunch of Atari 5200 games, uh, pretty much full. So they're all with the exception of having end labels so I'm gonna have to they're not alphabetized or anything but uh, it keeps them well organized and then here I just have uh, some extra 2600 games some Odyssey games uh, TI-84 games and uh, some other XC games that are kind of mixed in some Master System games so again at least it's not um, just in a box or, or anything all helter-skelter but works and then in this is all uh, Sega stuff just my Sega controllers that I have for for the systems so keeping it organized uh, the big one here is where I keep most of my 2600 stuff so let me open this thing so you can see Again, no particular order, but at least I can see the end labels to know what's what's in there. But it keeps everything really, really organized. But you can see I, I even kind of ran out of room in this one and just got them on top of each other. But, I mean, you can see what I'm, what I'm getting at here. So it works really well. Uh, holds everything really nice. Down in here, I just got some uh, the portable games in here, uh, and then a lot of my um, manuals and flyers and stuff are, are in this drawer. And then over here, I got all my Nintendo controllers, some more loose cartridges, a lot of Intellivision, ColecoVision. Uh, and Sega Genesis stuff is in here as well as some other miscellaneous stuff. And then there's some uh, miscellaneous Atari, 3DO, an extra Vectrex controller, Sony stuff. Or, uh, just controllers in here. Now I haven't quite filled these up yet, but uh, just some AC adapters. There's all my plugs in one drawer to connect to TV. There's all my AC adapters in one drawer. Um, this one here is, that's all my uh, Famicom games. So they actually fit really nice in here too. And then uh, my handhelds or LCDs or whatever you call these things are down in here nothing up here so they're well worth the money in my opinion if you're tight on space 
Um, you can also stack these on top of each other. Um, I have not tried it, but they are stackable. They also come with wheels. I just choose not to use the wheels. Um, but if you haven't noticed the, the one thing, I'll tell you about that now. So I showed you the storage units and what I keep in them, um, how they're really good for keeping thing, things organized. I think the biggest downfall to them, and it's pretty much cosmetic, for me, I don't really care because I don't have many people come over to show my collection and be like, ooh, ah. Um, but if you do, obviously it doesn't look like you have a whole lot of stuff when everything's in plastic Tupperware drawers. I typically would prefer to have everything showcased. Shelves for everything, everything on the walls, hanging up, uh, like the stuff behind me with the systems. But... I just don't have the room for it, so these shelves work out good. Uh, but yeah, whenever you first first glance look at stuff, it's like, wow, well, you don't really have a whole bunch of stuff. Then you start opening up the drawers and see just hundreds of games in, in all the drawers. So other than that, that's about my only complaint is that I can't visually showcase them out in the open like I would like to. But uh, for the space I have, they work really good, well worth the money, and get the thumbs up. Thanks for watching.